What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue. And today, oh man, can we cook a steak without a grill or without a stove? Absolutely. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. See this bad boy right here? Oh yeah. Black Angus beef ribeye steak. Whew. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. It's quick, simple, easy seasonings. And speaking of seasoning, bam! Michael's Petrie's Texas style beef brisket. This is gonna be some good rub right here, guys. Oh yeah. So we're gonna sprinkle some of that season on this bad boy right here. And we're gonna show you how to cook the steak without a grill or without a stove. Y'all stay tuned. So let's talk about the products we're gonna be using today. The Barbecue Dragon Chimney of Insanity. Man, oh man. Can you see this Y hole right here, guys? This Y gap hole? This is where the Barbecue Dragon fan goes in there, just like so. This is gonna help you speed up your process to ash over the charcoal. And the beautiful thing about this, guys, man, you can ash over the charcoal in about five minutes or less. I said it correct, five minutes or less. This is gonna help you speed up that cooking process so you can get to your queue as quick as possible. Now, let's talk about the barbecue dragon fish. Man, this bad boy is worth every penny. And I'm gonna tell you why. This bad boy comes with a clip on. You can clip this on to any of the grills that you wanna clip on and it's gonna speed up the cooking process. If you need to save some steaks, some chicken wings or anything of that nature, or like some hot dogs or sausages, this is the way to go. This is gonna help you produce that flame broiling aspect of it. Because why? This is a fan. Yeah. And it has a nice fancy logo. <laughs> and if you can hear guys. You heard that? Did you hear that guys? You heard the speed, it goes all the way up and it can slow it down if you like to have a lower type of flame and have an on and off switch. The beautiful thing about this, it requires four, and I said four, double A batteries. That's it, it's simple guys. Also with this bad boy right here, you can bend it in any direction to give you that particular uh, fan to speed up your cooking process. See, just like so. Simple products made by Barbecue Dragon, for the everyday backyard barbecue use. Can't ask for nothing more. So let's talk about how we're gonna set this up. My knees are bugging because I'm old. <laughs> Hope I can get back up. <laughs> oh man, the things I do. Anyway guys, this is what we're gonna be using today. Kicks for professional. Sorry about the wind if you can uh, if there was a little bit windy so we're gonna fill this charcoal up halfway up with some kinks professional we're gonna light it up and we're gonna use this bad boy right here to speed up the process of ashing these charcoals over y'all stay tuned Jesus! 
this is phenomenal. When they talk about insane, this is definitely the definition of insane as far as playing goes. Look at that, guys. Wow. I'm sorry. This is phenomenal. Look at that. Wow. We're about a minute and 20 seconds. And guys, if you count from the start of this beginning of this clip right here to now, I'm telling you, I am not lying. We are at 1 minute and 32 seconds. Look at that. Oh, baby. When I said less than five minutes, this is literally less than five minutes. And we don't have a full chimney, of course, but I mean, this is a minute and 45 seconds at this point. And we just got, you know, half of the chimney or a little bit above a quarter of uh, full of charcoal on this chimney. And look at those flames, baby. Look at those flames. Oh, yeah. We're two minutes in, guys. And if you look closer, let me uh, get you a. These charcoals are just about ready. They're just about ready. Wow. Wow, I'm impressed. Barbecue Dragon, you got something going on here, guys. Holy smokes. We are approaching two minutes and 30 seconds, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, these are ready. All right guys, so let's go and season our steak that we have right here. I trimmed some of this excess fat off that you see right here from around the uh, steak, and we're just basically gonna hit it with some canola oil as a binder. Always shake the bottle. Just sprinkle lightly on both sides. Or spray lightly, I should say. Michael Petrie's. Texas brisket rub. Oh man, this stuff is gonna be so good. As you can see, it's brand new in the bottle. I haven't used this yet. I'm gonna shake it up real quick. The rub smells good, guys. You can definitely smell the seasons, the garlic, and the herbal seasoning he's using in this. Wow. All right, guys, that's it. And to cook our steak in, this is going to be the gadget we're going to be using. A simple gadget. So we're going to place our steak on top of here. And this is it. This is it right here. All right, so let's show you how to do this real quick. Wow. Take a look at that, guys. And it's only been about 30, 40 seconds. Holy smokes. Always use an insulated glove to protect your hand from this bad boy right here. I don't know if you can hear me, but I got the barbecue fan on. Throwing the flame up in here. Speeding up that charcoal ash over process, and you can hear the sizzle. Look at that. In about 30 seconds, I'm gonna get the size right here. Nah, this is done. This is medium rare, just so I like it. All right, guys, take a look at that. It's like a lollipop, <laughs> big old steak lollipop. We're gonna check to make sure this is medium rare. One twenty-seven, one twenty-eight, one twenty-nine. All right, let me see. One thirty-one. Take a look at that, guys. One thirty-one. That's the temperature currently at. Like I said, we cooked in less than two minutes. Maybe three, but I think it was two minutes. Maybe three, but I think it was two minutes. <laughs> Charcoal, 
chimney of insanity by barbecue dragon along with that barbecue fan it does some wonders so i'm gonna let this rest about a good five minutes and we're gonna slice into it to see what they look like okay folks it's been about five minutes or so patiently waiting for the steak to cool down so all the juices can run back to the original places and we're about to dive in to see what this tastes like oh man Oh yeah, look at that guys. Perfectly medium rare. And oh, I don't know if you see some of the juices is coming off. Matter of fact, let me bring you up for a closer look. Take a look at that guys. Wow. Let me get another piece. Wow. Alright guys, so time for the best part of the entire video. You see this guys? You see this? Wow. Juice is all over. This is the best way to eat a steak. You can eat it well done if you like guys, but you're just killing it. You're just killing it. Why? This is how it's meant to be eaten. Medium rare guys. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Wow. Wow. This is so good. Oh man, gotta have another bite. Wow. Mm. Michael Petrie, that Texas brisket rub, Texas best brisket rub, I should say. Wow. It's hitting all cylinders. It's like a party in my mouth right now. <laughs> gotta have another bite. Mmm. This is so good. Wow. What a quick way to grill or cook your steak on this charcoal chimney of insanity by Barbecue Dragon along with that Barbecue Dragon fan. You can have quick steak under three minutes. Three minutes. I think it was two minutes. I wasn't counting. But y'all saw the video. I wasn't lying to you. Man, I'm going for some more. This is how good it is. Hmm, this is my fourth bite. I think I'm gonna destroy this. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I surely appreciate you. Make sure you check out that Barbie Dragons uh, products because they got some phenomenal stuff, guys. And if you like grilling and barbecuing, this is your channel right here. So make sure you share this video with all your family and friends. Until next time, guys, this is Smoking Jazz Barbecue. Peace.